So they're checking out their supercomputer solution here. Uh, so, so hi. So who are you? Uh, hi. Uh, my name is Michael. I'm a UMass Boston student, junior CS major, and I'm part of the MGH CPCC team. And who are these guys around you? Uh, these are my teammates. So you can introduce yourself. Evan Donato. I'm a junior at University of Massachusetts Boston, studying computer science. Um, are you all in the same class? Um, well. Our friend here is not from UMass Boston, uh, but he is from one of the University of Massachusetts schools. I'm, uh, I'm Tahe, I'm a sophomore computer science and math major at uh, UMass Lowell. And who are you? Hi, uh, I'm a computer science senior in UMass Boston. So what kind of stuff are you doing? I'm here for the HPCG benchmark. Benchmark? Yes. Benchmark, so you, you, uh, is it showing on the screen? So here is just our uh, power consumption. Uh, our current power consumption, which is uh, pretty low at this point because we're running a lot of CPU jobs. Uh, during the benchmarking, it was much higher because we were running on GPU. That's when we really pushed the power on the load. And what do you work on? Uh, I'm working on the Terasoft reproducibility challenge. Is it on the screen right now? Uh, it's it's show. Oh, show. No? yeah, that's it. Something else? Yeah. Ah, you, you're not allowed to show, yeah? No. no so you, you're part of this competition right now? Yep. So what are you going to win if you win? Uh, Fame. Fame? Inverse fortune. Fortune? Inverse fortune. Uh, so, um, uh, what does uh, Kurt Kerville do uh, compared with you? What, what, uh... Uh, Kurt, Kurt was the former advisor for the team, and he sort of uh, started the team many years ago. Um, uh, historically, the team has always incorporated uh, students from the uh, uh, member institutions of the Mass Green High Performance Computing Center. and. Uh, the UMass uh, institutions are part of that of that consortium. So here is just the competition and stuff you're doing right here. But uh, in general, you're doing all kinds of uh, projects, right? So what kind of stuff are you working on? Uh, so this is basically, I'd say, a hobby. Uh, it's a way of life for us. This is uh, computing is just what we do. Um, so we, even prior to this, we would meet uh, weekly to discuss, you know, happenings in the HPC community and, and kind of what's going on in the sphere and what ways we can improve. Uh, not only ourselves, but the applications that we're running, um, and sort of the methods that, the methods that we use every day. Um, so it's really, really fun. And the competition, you know, it's a lot of work, but it doesn't. You don't really feel the work because it's the majority of it is just stuff that you've been doing, you know, every day. Do you think it's fun too? You think it's fun? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so does it work? What are you doing? Uh, I'm not working right now because my part has been done. Your work has been done, so you're just having fun. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I enjoy and uh, is he working what you're doing right now? Uh, we're working on it. We're working, working on it, yeah. Have you seen, do you have any idea what the competitors are doing? How many teams are there around here? Uh, 16. 16 total. Yeah, 16. 16. Teams. You think they have something that's better than yours? or? Yeah, some of them have pretty impressive hardware, you know. But a lot of things can go wrong because uh, you can um, do, do a certain step wrong. You can. Uh, uh, you can be out of here when the power is off, which is part of the challenge. The power gets, uh, there's a shutdown that takes place. So there's a lot of things that can go wrong. So there is more to the challenge than just the hardware. That's hopefully something that we will try to focus on. What's the rule of the, this competition? How does it work? What is it supposed to do and what, uh, how do you get the challenge and stuff? Well, I guess so, so the, the main thing of the competition is that uh, all teams are limited to 3,000 watts. And so that sort of is the way to level the playing field so that people don't bring uh, incredibly gigantic systems. Uh, and it's actually interesting because that artificial limit on wattage uh, forces teams to do sort of interesting approaches to um, sort of concentrate on flops per watt rather than what the full output of a single node can be. Uh, for example, you'll see many teams here uh, like us. Uh, we brought 16 GPUs, but we didn't necessarily run them at full uh, at full frequency uh, to take advantage of the fact that the scaling is definitely not linear. And you know, this, the sweet spot on the NVIDIA V100 seems to be around 800 to 1,000 uh, um, uh, frequency. So, um, which also operates at half wattage, which is which is beautiful. And I think we get about 75, 80 percent of uh, of the output that's expected. So. So it's a competition to make as, as much performance as possible within a certain amount of uh, 
but doing it in a nice way somehow, uh, uh, showing so, off what you can do? So, or? so, so it's, it's kind of a mixture. Uh, the, the initial applications, the benchmarking applications of HPCG and HPL are definitely uh, about, all about showing off the speed of your system. Uh, later applications are more about understanding uh, how the domain science around the applications work, um, how, how to take advantage of, of various tweaks that you can do, for example, around uh, maybe you want to change the precision level. If, if, the, uh, if the accuracy doesn't go down too much, that will increase your, your processing speed for your workload, things like this. Um, so really the throughput portion in this, in this year was HPL, HPCG, and the Boron application, which uh, provided more data than most teams will be able to finish in the time of the competition. When is it finished, the competition? Uh, it's at 5.30 tomorrow. tomorrow. So, so it and started... And finally, you'll have time to go around the, 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 the halls, or have you had time already? Uh, we, we, we try to make sure that people aren't stuck here. I mean, the team is six people. There's four of us here now, so two are off. Having uh, fun. Having fun, at going to talks, enjoying themselves. We have another talk coming up uh, around what was it, 4.15 that somebody's going to run off to. So, so you, you're doing a bunch of Intel and the TX1, uh, the ARM solution there? Uh, how much the ARM? TX2. TX2. Uh, how we much, made, how much yeah. ARM stuff do you do in general at, at, the, at the university? So myself, uh, uh, this, is, this would be my, yeah. my intro to it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this gentleman right here does uh, quite a bit. Yeah. You've done a bunch of stuff with ARM? Yeah, so ARM is pretty cool. We've been using uh, uh, ARM to port kind of uh, application heavy or high performance applications to embedded systems and to kind of take uh, applications that would otherwise take, uh, you know, enormous amounts of power and, uh, and be sort of efficient on, on large clusters and bring them down to the scale of, of kind of computers that fit in your pocket. Um, so that's a, uh, a tough problem in that uh, you're kind of low on resource, but it's also a, an important problem to solve because a lot of the compute that's done with the wearable tech or, or, or even in your mobile devices, 